Hey, it's Blake's Natural Live, and our fantastic avocado got a beetle in, in the middle of the plant. So it was about this tall, and I saw it dying, and I looked closer, and the middle part turned brown. And with avocados, they, they ooze out white sap when it dries out, and then the beetle was in this section, and he had already left, but the, the plant had cut off so it doesn't spread the, the fungus. I wish there was a product I could use. This is what I've been looking for. Let's go try them out. It protects from rodents, insects, and even sunburn. And we're gonna go over a product and do a demo on IV Organics. It protects against sunburn, insects, and rodents. And my issue is I have issues with beetles and rodents. So I'll be painting these on as a plant guard on all my trees. So let's go mix this up. I'll show you how to mix it up and then we'll go put it on our plants. And this is the brown one. And here's the white one that I've already used. I'll, let's go ahead and start mixing right now. So all you do is need a screwdriver, go around just like a paint can, pop it up. Here's the powder mixture. And then here's the oil mixture. And it's got a, it's all natural. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of water in there to start off. Just a little bit. I go ahead and mix some of my oil in there. This has all the smell that helps deter in a lot of animals and the insects. <laughs> now we got the powder. Pour it in there. And then what I'll do is I'll mix and add more water to it. This way it doesn't overflow. You add a little bit more. Because you want it to be like right at the rim, like right under it. Just do it gently. It's perfect. Okay, go. Alright. So this one I did a bypass on it. And you're saying bypass? I didn't think you could do it on plants. So the rootstock of this one, it didn't seem to have made it. So the top of the plant was looking really droopy and unhealthy. So I took another rootstock that I had and I pushed it over, planted it, and stuck it on the side. And now the leaves look so much healthier. And that's how you can save a grafted bare root plant. So I'm only gonna put it up to here, watch out spider. And then when this takes in a few weeks, whenever the parafilm falls off, then I will finish painting in the middle. So now I'm gonna go up here just to do some more. I'll get under this one. Okay. So this tree right here is another avocado. It was grown, it was grown from a seed. So my girlfriend's mom and dad, uh, probably what, 10 years ago, they grew in from seed. And it's after eight years, it started making these really long avocados. So it means a lot to me and I wanna keep it safe from the beetles. I want to go as far high as I can on the main trunk. It's done really good in this spot. This top part I can protect. I topped it off last year. It's such a happy tree though. Coming back from the weather, so in no time they'll be back healthy again. 
actually didn't get hit that hard. I put a uh, frost cloth over it. And my girlfriend Marjorie, she helped me with it. So did my stepdad. They, they all pitched in and helped take care of these plants when I would be out of town. Or so I'm very happy about it. So here we have Marjorie. She's uh, she's going to put some of it on her root stocks that I just grafted. And we'll put it right there below the graft until it actually heals. And when it heals, we'll go ahead and finish it over on top of it. Because right now you can see the parafilm is still there and I don't want to put it over the parafilm. Do you zoom in into it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which one? Next. Did you get it all the way around? Yep. Yep. Good job. Let's do this one right here. That was a persimmon tree she was painting. Do you know what variety was the var variety say on the tag? It says John's tree. Okay, that is a um, is it Uzu variety. And then this is a Fuyu gyro that I grafted. Are we doing all of them? Yeah, just put it all around. Okay. And this is the brown paint, as you can tell. Makes it blend more easier. Mm-hmm. Can't tell, not like with the white one you could tell. Right. Looks more natural. I feel like the white would block more of the reflect the sun rays on certain plants that need. So this protection. also is like a sunscreen? Yeah, this one, this too? one too. Okay. This protects it from burns and all. Also has all the good ingredients in there to help with insects like boring insects and rodents and everything you name it. Side. Just push it over. Good job. So always stay like under the parafilm. Under the parafilm. Yeah. That way when it deteriorates it'll fall off and then I can check out the, the graft and then uh, put it over, paint it over. We have real bad beetles here, ambrosial beetles and other species that that burrow into the, the trunk of these baby trees and grown trees and any type of plant that we have. I think we're good. Does it look like? Well, you did really good. The, um, it's okay to leave some of the bottom because I'm going to add more soil to these. Okay. Because you can see that some of the root stalks still kind of mm -hmm. sticking out. All right. So here's my fantastic avocado. Okay, if it goes over the bud, still push through. It looks cool on it too. I like it. It's okay to do it around the leaves; they'll be fine. So here's one where I cut off a big limb, so it has a big open wound. So I'm gonna put this over it so it can heal it, keep it protected from pests and fungus. You can apply this three times a year to twice this a year. Lakes Nature Life and we're going to be talking about ivy organic. There you go. It has sunburns, insects, and rodent protection. Lord knows that Blake has been struggling with some insects and some rodents at his property. Alright, so we're going to paint from the base down, right? Yep. Um, you can see that's where the rootstock was at. This one blends so well with like the trunk. Really does. You can't even tell. Mm -mm. I like them both, depending on what plant I'm putting it on. Yeah. The white's nice because you can notice. Right, and then this is good on this barky looks, trees that have darker yeah. bark. You want it to look like you. It like blends natural. in. Yeah, totally blends in. I like the white on the avocado, the white and green, mm -hmm. and that really helps with young avocados on their trunk. Till the trunk gets uh, darker black. Usually takes a few years. Hear that woodpecker in the back? In the words of Bob Ross. Happy trees. Happy trees. From nature. Nature's off balance, so we have to do our part. Doing a great job, baby. 
so here we're at our here we're at the pawpaw tree so this is one that i was growing in the ground we have onyx behind me walking around here baby girl let me in the camera so i grafted a variety called mango it looks like a mango and it tastes like one and it's starting to push off so what i will do i'm going to paint this whole trunk till right about here and then when this fully heals then i'll cover over it because i still have the parafilm on it and i want to paint it i want to paint it when uh, the parafilm falls off and then by then the graft will be fully healed so let's go in and start painting this one on here because the beetles love trying to attack the pawpaws it's okay if it gets on the ground no big deal See how it comes on, goes on there so beautifully. Coats it just perfect. We're gonna kick these beetles' butts and the rodents. Last year I had damage on my citrus because of rodents, so I may put some on my citrus. Because when when it gets hot and there's not a lot of rain, the, the the mice and the rats they get thirsty and you can't blame them. They're just trying to survive. So I'm just going to do right here until the parafilm falls off and I'll finish it out. Thank you for watching. This is Blake's Nature Live. And we'll catch you later. Say bye, baby girl. You're getting dirty out here. <laughs> <laughs>